now. Thanks for coming in and thanks for watching. When a mother has abandoned and neglected her kids, is it ever too late to say, I'm sorry, and is I'm sorry ever enough? Please welcome Sonia to the show. Sonia, how you doing? I'm okay. All right. Why are you here today? I'm here today because my family is dysfunctional and I want to fix it. I have children that have never met their other siblings and we don't basically get along. I mean, it's like they cover up their feelings and I want them to day put the cheese on the cracker, today. basically. But, today. But, but, but let's face it, you have six crackers, yeah. you have six crackers and you want the right, right cheese on every one of the six. Yes, I do. Let's go back in time, Mama, this is tough. You started having babies when you were a child yourself. Yes, I 15. was 15 years old and I was told to get an abortion, so I ran away and then I ended up in foster care and I became overwhelmed. I had my first child with me for four five years, so I asked a family member, please, to take custody of my daughter, Amber. And um, love of my life, I love all my children, but she's the only one I grew up with and that really talks to me. We have an okay relationship, but I, I want more of the relationship. So today's today. You have six kids that yes. basically have no relationship with you. Right. And you have one, Jose Patrick, who you've never physically met in your whole life. Since um, he was a baby and everything, and I was doing visitation, and he ended up, the people for CPS, they said, okay, Sonia, do these programs, do this and that and the other, and why do this? And you go behind my, my damn back and take my kids and adopt them off and send them to another state, and I'm unable to know where they are. In fact, you say the other woman who's here, the adoptive mother, stole your child. I believe um, I have no problems with her at this moment, but Linda. But I think you will. But I need to get this off my chest. I think she knew her and her ex knew what was going on, that I was doing what I was told to do, and let the government push them into going ahead to sign for my kids. So I had anger issues. All right, now, Mom, let's go back. But you had a serious drug problem. Yes, I did. Cocaine, and crack cocaine, yes. powder cocaine. Also, you were a stripper. Yes, I was. You were a stripper at a high-end club in the, yes. in the nation's capital. Yes, I and was. And weren't there occasions where you left your daughter, your little four-year-old girl, alone, and you were Amber, you were out stripping? Well, no, she wasn't alone. She was with a friend of mine, and I was giving her money to take care of her. Because she said I she was home her. alone. No, she was never she home claims alone. That. She also no. claims certain abuse was going on. No, there was no idea. She got spankings for lying all the time. It was things that a little kid did. She claims Amber is going to claim she was abused by an associate of yours. Well, at this point, I just found out about that the other day, and I'm not sure about it, but I'd like to know about it because it kind of upsets me that she doesn't feel that, you know, it's okay to tell me that. She can't. This is my daughter. And she can't even she has, talk to me. She doesn't have a relationship that. with you that she wants. Look, she does not. None of the six have a relationship with you. I understand That's that. That's the but problem. I want a chance. I want a chance to try. And, you know, I know it'll be slow, but, you know, at least give me a chance. They don't have relationships with each other. And they don't have relationships with you. And well, what responsibility do you take? Well, I take all of the the blame for my children being separated. I mean, five year old and then five years later having another kid. And you know, it's just, I was just, I, I was making very bad decisions. And I felt like I'm a kid, I should be able to do kid things. Today's the day, please welcome Sonya's daughter, Amber to the show. Amber, come on out. Number two, the fact that like it, it, it's seeming like that you're you're still playing the victim role. And the one thing for sure, two things for certain, in order for anything to try to move forward, in order for anything to try to get resolved, you have to take all responsibility. You have to take total, total, you have to stand up and tell the truth about everything. Yes, I know. Hold on, I mean, hold on, hold on, listen to me. If you don't tell the truth about everything, you don't take the responsibility for everything, and then 
versus blocking things out of your mind or acting as if though you don't remember them happening or playing the victim role and saying somebody took something from you. Do you think your mom chose a party life and men and stripping over young. you? Number, Number one, four, she, five, she six. definitely chose. Basically, she definitely chose those things over me because she could have stopped. I the wanted court to gave, be a teenager, Amber, and I didn't know how to take care of you. The court so gave you, you the opportunity to go take AA, NA, parenting classes. And I was you, doing that. You did not take the classes because in 90 not days when you, you came I back, did do that. I'm I talking did about do me. That. I'm not talking oh, about the I'm rest sorry of them. About when that. we came, when you came back to the court. You had not completed anything, and you they did you didn't give me to her. Does and mom they, always play the victim in this? Absolutely. Hey, what I try not to, but, but I mean, that's in your character. It's, that's it's, in your character to play the victim. Aren't you and playing the victim now, mom? Yes. So I when are you going to stop? You're saying I was young. I, want to. I, was I really want to. You, mm. There is no option. I You're want a grandmother to. I want of two to. kids now. Yes. A grandmother. A grandmother. Yes. So now that you, if you messed up with the kids, now's not the opportunity to say, oh, let me fix it with my kids. Now is the time to focus on your grandchildren oh, first. Yes. And yes. then your children yes. second. Now, Amber, yes. talk, did, did it get so bad with your That's mom true. in the past? You two got into a fist fight? Well, um, I did something that most most children don't do for their parent. My mom was displaced. Her situation had changed. Um, I had a nice a nice enough space that I was never home. I was always working. I'm a workaholic. So I told my mom to yes. come move with me. Um, and I allowed her to move with me under five simple rules. You, you, so you, five as the daughter, rules. gave your mom five rules. If, if I was to move into your house, she's going to give me rules as an adult. Absolutely. Any, anybody's household that One, pays two, the rent three, or their name for the lease, but, but you will follow asking, rules. Amber, which I don't even know right at this moment why it is that we fought that day um i know why. all i remembered I was because tony I and i was leaving and no, i don't I even remember why? that was not because tony was the reason leaving. the reason was the five rules were take your medicine right go to your doctors right put your food stamps in the house as your rent right keep the house straight right and do not participate in anything that i don't participate in what well that i didn't and break any of those you, did break no the because drinking has nothing to do with the middle and anything. the last. You broke one, three, and five, and you know how I know because I was just talking about it. You broke one because number one, you stopped taking your medicine because you weren't going to the doctors. So you broke one and two. Three, you took the food stamps and sold the food stamps because you went out Virginia and participated in some extracurricular activities. What were and the I, extracurricular activities? Her, her activities of choice, whatever they may be, because whatever I wasn't there. Be. Well, I wasn't there, so I can't tell you. But the reality of it was, that was your payment for rent. What relationship do you have with the other five siblings that you should have a good brother-sister relationship? Well, I, what is that relationship? I, I, because the leadership wasn't there for the family. But I'll be very honest with you. It's simply because of this. Had my mom been able to provide provide a stable environment, the children wouldn't be separated. Okay? That's true. So number two, the second child behind me, my sister, that did not come. You have no relationship with the five that's worthwhile. No, wild. that's not true. I do have a relationship with the one behind me who's four and a half years behind me. She, we've been very, very close. Our grandparents made sure that they kept she us refused. involved. What about Patrick, the one that I, physically... The last time I saw Patrick, he had just came out of her. So we're talking 20 years ago. 16 and a half years 16. ago. 16. And today's... And, what, and, your, and your other sister, we have one other sister here, Angel. I, she found us on Facebook. Angel. We met her a year and a half ago. Yes. And in fact, I, I think in social media, Patrick connected up with Absolutely. your mom. Absolutely. Yes, and they go back and forth a little Absolutely. bit on Facebook. But they've yeah, never physically day. met. Not every day. He just, was an infant. Yeah. And that you're going to meet Patrick time. later. First time. Are you gonna meet, you're going to meet First time. your son. First time in so many years, and I'm proud. And I wish, you know, whatever it is I got to do that you need me to do and your brothers and sisters, I will do it. And you take responsibility take for responsibility your past. The for cocaine, everything. the strip, and the abuse. Because with not doing the drugs anymore, my mind is clearer. And I can see the things that I did to harm my children. And, and you're first sorry. Step before that, you got to make a More family members are coming up. Stay right there. <laughs> I, I think she's fake, shady, useless, she's a hypocrite, all the above. Mom faces her past. You can make things better, but you have to realize for 30 years, you've been promising to make things better. And another daughter. You don't tell her You're not about to stand up to me. I'm standing up. Can this relationship move forward? What did you go through to try to find your mom? A lot of tears. You did I'm it all. My family member helped me find her. Did you ever try to find her? No, yes, oh, you did. I tried. Today's are about moms who abandon their kids and this broken relationship. I can tell by your passion 
Amber, you want a relationship with your mom. You can't change a second of yesterday. You can change all the tomorrows, right? But, so at this point, what do you want to see happen today? And including angels coming out. And Patrick, you got a whole family structure that's fractured. What do you want to see happen today? Um, well, to be honest with you, I definitely want to see a camaraderie. Uh, it would be nice to sit at a dinner table for once. Has that ever life, happened in your life? That would no. be lovely, Amber, and good, but I need it. I need right now, and I know you guys need right now, to, like, stick with me. Give me a chance first. The let me, hold on. Pause. I can't do anything Pause. about it. Hold. I can only Stop. try to make things Stop. better. Listen. That's you about can, it. Listen. You can make things better, but you have to realize... For 30 years, you've been promising to make things better. Has she been clean for five years, to I, your knowledge? I, I won't say that I know five years to be true. What I will say is I know three years to be true. Three out of five. Well, Are that's, you that's what I say. Years. I know three years to be true. Oh, and, and, and my I'm person. And I, and I checked my mom. I, could, I, could, I definitely could see her and know beyond a shadow of a doubt whether she's been doing something, been around it, or even has the What's your relationship, Amber, with Angel? She's coming um, out. Well, Angel, to, to on, be honest, Angel is a little introverted. Angel was a little, a little uh, abused in a sense that her family treated her like an outcast. And that has a lot to do with the fact that she looks like us. Do all six have the same biological father? No. no. How many different ones are involved? There are two, four. Four, four. out of six. The it's last five baby is five. Five. The you you weren't even sure. You couldn't give me the number. Well, I mean... It's just, it's, it's crazy. Difficult. It's crazy. What's your relationship now with Angel, Amber? Well, I'll be honest. Me and Angel, when we first, when we first actually became interacting with each other, you know, I was doing everything in my power to, to get her to come over. You know, I'm a hairdresser, so I get her to come over and get her hair done. But the reality it's, of it is, you have to meet me halfway. What about you and Angel? What's your relationship with well, your daughter, Angel? my relationship with Angel is really not one. Um, we speak on occasion because there's really no conversation. And tell the um, truth, what do you do to her most of the time that y'all have a conversation? We get into it. And, and then you hang up the phone on her. Hang up on her yesterday, I didn't do it. Please welcome no, Sonya's no, daughter and Amber's sister. Yes, Angel to the show. Angel, come on out. Yeah. We hang up on her all the time. Because you know what? I love you, I'm but all you do is why. You're disrespectful. You're sick of it. You if hang you up want, on If you want me. a relationship, I'm you need to give me a break. I'm disrespected by you all the time. This is not the road. This is not the right really way. Not. I want one. And the bad part about it is, I want to try. The bad part about the bad part about it is, Angel was living in the same house. Right 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 what I thought. What I thought. That's why I called. Angel, I'm trying. I want a relationship with you. Every time I try to tell you, well, why don't you come and live with me in Virginia? I'll get a bigger place. Why do you think somebody wants to come and live with somebody who spazzes out like this? Would you? Well, that's only. Would you? Angel, what do you want to say? Because I understand, you, how long were you looking for your mother before you found her? Two years. Two years. And she lives in the same I was house when my mother hire conceived her. A so private you didn't have to look to find you. I was gonna she hire. Was in the same she was in the same house. Listen, she was we we were listen Angel, Mama. Listen, Angel. What did you go through to find? Hold on, Mom. What did you go through to try to find your mom? A lot of tears. I searched several times through websites. Put my money on websites. You did I'm it all. For My that. family you member helped me. Did you her? ever try to find her? No. Yeah, I did. I tried. No, you did. I tried. I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Not very hard. Not very hard. No, you didn't. No, you did. no, you no, you did. Did. No. That's where I went, and the people said they didn't know where you got moved. Like, you gotta honest. be honest. Let me hear from Angel. The, Angel, the reality what? of it is, did you know, really go look you know, for her? Yes, just once. One time. One time. Angel, are you? You know who you did go through hell finding? Patrick. That's who you looked for. That's who you she went for. She didn't look for Patrick. I only called so CBS and found her. He I found just me. found out about Patrick. Patrick found he her. Found Don't me. get it twisted. He found me. I tried to go through CPS and they said I couldn't do anything. Do you feel as if... But you made an effort to even care 
to know where he was. Well, half of the time in the past, I was always She's still making excuses. Angel, do you feel... Have you been damned? Hold on, listen to this, Mom. She's still making excuses. Hold on. She left you when you were like four and a half, five months old. Didn't Probably find you. No, she wasn't four and a half, five months old. How many months was she? She was ten. No, she's still an aunt. Ten. No, yes, she was. I was Amber. less than that. You, you know how months. I know? Amber. Because my dad is the one who told me. Because I Let her talk. To walk around no, my grandmother the, the is the one who saw me as a baby. No. Let her yes, talk. That's the last tell no, your mom. No, no, tell your mom no. what you want. Tell, tell your mom. Tell me everything you need. Tell. Tell her what you need. How about now? What do you need? I need you. To answer questions. Answer. Okay, what are they? Go ahead. I need you to be my mom. Because if my dad isn't the dad that I need, I need my mom. I've always needed my mom for everything. I feel like I have to still be a kid because I never had the mother that I needed. My childhood was never great. So I'm a kid now. I I'm 21. I should be Let out doing things. And I'm not. Because I'm not ready to even move on my own. So I'm not ready. Mothers and daughters are special. Their relationship. Yeah, you often figure out how special. to put lipstick on. You figure out what man supposed to treat you like. Your father's supposed to treat you, tell you what it is that a man's supposed to treat you like. Your mother's supposed to give you the example of what you should want to come up and be but as a woman. I was not a good example. Okay, so therefore now is the time and to yeah, change. It. And it changed. I tell you I what. I want to change it. Ladies, I want to be in you guys' lives. I just came into your life now as an adult. You're an adult, right? I'm an adult. All my past relationships, instead of giving me advice, you try to break it up. You try to tell me, no, he ain't right. Why are you with him? I don't like him. I wanted you to meet him. Me and him were really serious. I wanted you to meet him. And what did you tell me? I, was I called being you for your birthday. I, know. I went I was to being Virginia, selfish. to Crystal City, to go see you on your birthday, to take you out to dinner, to take you out to dinner with my money and him. And what did you do? You said, no, I'm not going being, anywhere I because I wanted just you, and it was and not fair of me. But it's not, it's not, it's not fair of me. It's not about only what you want. I should not have to it wasn't have fair, and I ask you. for your forgiveness for it. Do you Please realize you're an adult I should children? not be making yes, that do. do you realize almost all your children are adults at this point? Do you realize do that respecting adults for adults just the same way that we have to respect you as an adult, as our adult parents, we have to respect you, so respect us as your adult children with adult opinions, with adult flaws, just as much as you that's, got adult flaws. That, that is my problem. I will. All right, let's do that. this. We have more coming up. You have not met Patrick in person, right? You two are about to meet your brother in person. You're about to meet in person your son for the very first time, and his adoptive mother is here. Stay right there. Looking forward to it, but after hearing all this, I'm like, I'm a little afraid now because I don't. He's had enough problems. I don't want to add more to it. The birth mom faces the adoptive mom. This is what a mother is. I had your son at two months. He could not breathe. I slept, sat up all night with him on my chest so he could breathe. That Something is a mother. Here. Not just because you had him make you the mother. I'm the mother, and his name is Patrick. And battle it out over the past. You lost that right, son. You Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425 for your chance to talk back with Bill. Today's about mothers who have abandoned their kids. Now, Linda is the adoptive mother of uh, Patrick, who you call Jose Patrick, correct? Yes, yes. And you've accused much. Linda of, quote, stealing Patrick, is that correct? That's, that's how I feel my feeling when I was doing the classes, the parenting classes that Amber spoke up. I did them for Jaleesa and Patrick, and then one day when I was having the open visitation, I go there, the people pick me up, I'm going there, I get there and they say, oh, we forgot to call you and let you know we adopted them out. But the whole time they were telling me they were in temporary foster care. So you got an axe to grind with Linda. Before we meet Patrick, please welcome Sonia's son's adoptive mother, Linda, to the show. Linda, come on out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for taking care of my kids. You're welcome. Linda, have a seat. Let's go back. All right. 
The allegation is, and you have complete knowledge, and you were not into this lifestyle. Right. No. Uh, Sonia was in it all. You're completely out of it. You were approved by the state, went through the whole process. Yes. You're the adoptive mother of Patrick, a son that Sonia has never met. Why do you, when you hear things like you stole your son Patrick, your adoptive son, those are the allegations. How does that make you feel? I think what she said, that's how she feels. We did not steal anybody in this country if you steal a child you're going to jail you're going to jail well, why is it that so, so hold up hold up let me let me talk so we went through the parenting class because we could not have children we went through the parenting class we were uh for adoption and we were told after we finished the class a child has come into care but it's not free and clear and we didn't know what free and clear meant so i said well what is that that means that the rights haven't been terminated but just to give you a little background the all the other kids have been terminated so we would say for you to go ahead and take this child so we walking. didn't steal any and you, never, you never met the biological i never mother. signed any papers i don't know any of that that's not me you can't blame me for that the state, there is no papers necessary the to they be ter Mama, I thought you were doing drugs. Well. You I was doing drugs. Patrick, I was doing drugs. I was doing drugs. I was doing drugs. I was Months. He could not breathe. He had breathing problems. I slept, sat up all night with him on my chest so he could breathe. And I stayed up all night to make sure he didn't stop breathing. I was the one that came to church every Sunday. And he's, in a, he's a junior usher. I'm the one that gets on his bus about his grade so he'll get a good grade Absolutely. and go to college and be a doctor or a lawyer. That Something is a mother. Too. Not just because you had it make you the mama. I'm the mama. And his name is Yourself. I did, you it, to did myself. it was self-inflicted. Yes. Self-inflicted. Did, did yes. you ever stop Patrick from contacting so his biological mother? No. I helped help Patrick find his. When he came to me two months ago and said, "I want to find my mom, my real mom." I you're, said, the real mom, the you're the real mom. You're the real mom. She's the biological mom. And I know that hurt and your that feelings. And that hurt my feelings. But, but you know what I said? I'll help you, son, and I helped him. And I told him because you're a real woman. Yes. Yes. Real woman. You could have said no. I could have said no. And thank you for sharing it with us. Yes. Do you want? Do you want your son to have a relationship with his sister? Yes. You want this? Are you willing to? Are you willing to incorporate her in this family? You don't mind. It's okay. But wait a minute. There will be rules. There will be rules. Rules. He's 16. He's 16 now. He what is, are the rules? The rules are, Please forgive me for having those um, angry issues and thinking that you I stole understand. my child, my kids from me. I understand. Because thank you for taking care of them. As I told yes, you on Facebook so and... Did you wait? No. Well, on Facebook and then I talked to you personally? Yes, yes we I did. thank you. So sick of because you. I you couldn't do what you did. Because without you, I wouldn't have had it. Thank you for taking so care of me. So I don't have a problem them. with that. But this is what I do have a problem with. This is what I have a problem ahead. with. At 16, first of all, you talked to him about coming. You didn't talk to me. That was your first message. I asked him. You come oh, talk to me. I asked him. Because at 16, he is a minor. You have to get everything cleared through me first. still is God. And so when he did come and talk about, I want to go see my mom, I said, Pat, this this was one of the reasons I didn't want him to really look for his mom at 16 because I didn't want to be in the middle of this. I wanted him to be 18. Different. You grow, you can go see whoever Absolutely. you want. Yes, but at 16, I you I'm sorry. I don't know because none of y'all, to what? be honest with you. I don't know you. It's nothing against you, but I don't know you. But I don't I'm gonna know come to, I'm going to come to Texas and visit you come and on. my brother, baby. Come on. So you ain't got to worry come about on. me and mine because I got a son. We'll be that, in Texas. But that's what I'm saying. While he's 16, he can't travel. You're going to have to yes. come to me. Yes, I can do that. I can do that if you allow me. All right, why don't we continue? Thank you. Patrick, Jose Patrick is here. And this is the first time physically you've ever met your son. 
And this is something At that you're age. okay with? I'm okay and the with first time physically okay you've met okay your brother, it. correct? When we continue, Patrick, also known as Jose Patrick, is here. Stay right there. My name is Patrick and I'm 16 years old. My mother gave me up for adoption when I was only two months old. A reunion they waited 16 years for. Will it be a happy one? Well, why is it so hard for you, Angel? And another mother confrontation. Get it off the chair. I am. I am. Okay, let's you know how much I had let to deal with. We're in the past. Were your kids taken away from you because you were an unfit mother? Have things changed for the better, and now you want your kids back? We want to help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. I'm, I'm just hoping he's going to be okay. This is about him. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's about him. Today's about a mother who's abandoned her six kids, but now it's about a reunion over his first 16 years. The biological mother and Jose Patrick have never actually met. Before we bring him out, take a look at this very special message he had for his biological mother, Sonia. My name is Patrick and I'm 16 years old. My mother gave me up for adoption when I was only two months old. I love my adopted mother and I've always had a good life, but I've always wondered who my birth mother was. Two months ago, I found my birth mom on Facebook. Not only did I find out about my mom, I have siblings too. We talked on the phone, but I've never seen her in person. I'm nervous and excited to see my sisters and birth mom for the first time. I have so many questions to ask. I want to know why she gave me up. Please welcome Sonia's biological son and Linda's adoptive son, Patrick, to the show. Patrick, come on up. Baby. Hi. <laughs> Girls, Amber, how does it feel to physically meet your brother uh, over here, Patrick, for the I, very like, first time? To be honest with you, it's like, kind of unreal because I remember while, when me is, you know, pregnant, that the only thing I kept praying was to be able to at least know where all my siblings was. Because as the oldest, that actually live with her and know what it was like to experience that and now be on the out of it, you know, I, I feel blessed that they didn't have to deal with that to have this type of relationship. I wish that we could have traded places. Maybe and today just, changes everything. But I'm just glad that he's here and I could physically place eyes on him. That's my little brother. He look good. <laughs> you got great blue eyes. All right. Y'all can't have him. All right, Mama. Here's the moment. Here is your son you gave biological birth to. What do you have to say to Patrick? I'm very sorry for the things that I put you through and whatever it is and whatever it takes to be in your life going through Linda, please allow me to have a chance to do that. Well, I want to know, um, how come I had to come find you first? How come he, she had to find, he had to find you? In the past, I was on drugs and I did a lot of bad things and I did the drugs to cover up whatever issues I had in my life. And in that turn, I took it out on my kids by saying, oh, I can't handle this, and just pushing back whatever it was that I was doing wrong and blaming others as I still do today, because it's hard to finish a cycle unless you work at it, and that's what I'm trying to do today. And tell, you're clean right I'm now. I'm clean, five clean, years five clean. Years. But, and but I'm proud hurt. of myself. That's good. But you're hurt as a 16-year-old boy, instead of your mother trying to find you through your adoptive mother. You had to try to find her with the help of your adoptive mother, Linda. I didn't that know you? Um, Linda's last name, but I did call the government center, and they said it's on the parents, the adoptive parents, to choose when to let them know. But That's you, true. we can't give you any information. You have to wait till they're 18. But you did something very special, and I thank you for letting me see him and be in our, become a part of our lives as well as us become a part of yours at 16. Hey, Amber, how do you feel because now that's meeting? That's the first thing I'm going to tell you, baby. Miss Linda ain't steal you. She did not. You hear say me? that, say she that loud. Not. There, she, there was no theft. Not. She did Patrick. not steal you. Patrick, Miss Linda did, you think, did, did you not steal you. Did Just you like think my that? grandmother did not steal me and no, her father did not, not steal her. 
She was not in a position to take care of us. How do you feel? That's my breath. <laughs> Don't cry, boo. Why, why is it so hard for you, Angel? Makeup. Fuck your brother. That's right. It just... They just both did the hey, same you, thing. You feel they like just both did the same thing. Look he looked for her, it. she looked for her. So these two had something in common that none of us have. Y'all reached out for us. Where does this family, this whole family go from here? Let's begin. Linda, what do you want to see happen? I want Patrick to know his, his, his biological and be together. family. And be can together. Can I Texas? You can come can to Texas. Come you to can come to Texas. Come to Tyler, but Texas. I, I'm just saying, I do have some rules. Just like you said, you have rules. Yes, These are my rules. And with him being 16, he can't just travel and visit folks. When he's 18, I told him, when you're 18, you're free to go visit whoever you want. But while he's 16, he lives with me. This is my family. And the yes. other thing I want to bring up, his name is Patrick. Yeah. That's on his birth certificate. I'm sorry, son, so but I, that is his name, stop Patrick. Him Jose. So on Facebook, no Jose. On stop Facebook, him stop that. saying. You got to show respect, Mama. I told him the same thing. Sonia, when you got to show me. respect. When he called me, okay. he was like, uh, Hold "This on. is Jose." Okay. Yeah. What's his and name? No, Patrick. Patrick. It's Patrick. 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 Patrick's the name. All right. Patrick is the we'll name. be back with one more story. Stay there. All I ask is to try a little forgiveness and let us start anew, if you can. I love you. I love you. I'm happy to see you. If you love watching from your couch, wait until you see us live. For your free tickets to a taping in New York City, go to our website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free. 888-710-8425 now. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Do you think Amber and Angel should forgive their mom and move on? Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answered and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL. On today's show, we're dealing with allegations of abandonment. And my next guest wants to know how his own mother could have loved drugs so much, she loved drugs more than him. Please welcome Kavaya to the show. Kavaya, how you doing? I'm good, Bill. How are you? Now, this is, uh, you look great, but you were born dirty, according to your story. Explain what that means. Um, what that means is during my mother's pregnancy with me, she was on um, drug use. And they told her that if she had any more children on drugs that she, her parenting rights were completely done. Of course, you had no memory as a baby being born, but you were born with cocaine? Yes. How did that affect your growing up? It was because um, as a child, I mean, certain things like my mother, um, my family member that raised me, she told me that I had withdrawals as a child, even as a baby. She could not work for a year because of the withdrawals that, she, that I was having in the sleep. I kept her up at night. Tell me about your mother growing up. She was in and out of your life constantly. Yes, she was. But you she... saw her every now and then, but it, what was that relationship like? I mean, our relationship was always iffy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I always knew she was my mother. You know, there was no de denying this was my mother. Well, you, you see us, you'll you know that she, we look just alike. But you, you had a relationship, but not really a relationship. And not really a mother and son relationship that what we should have been. She, she gets upset about the fact that my aunt, you know, raised me. She's upset that, like, okay, I'm still your mother, you know, and the things you do for her, you should do for me and all of this. But I'm like, you, you had me. That's it. Well, today, you want to get everything on the table yes, and you I want do. to move on. Please welcome Kavaya's mother, Maddie, to the show. Maddie, come on out. Really? Really, Kavaya? Really? Come on, man. And you're not finna come out here and act like you the victim in this. I ain't never said I wasn't. You, you, but really, look where I put you at. You didn't you, put me there. Child Protective Services put me there. Because I told them to put you there. No, you made a suggestion. And that's where you went. You, you didn't go to the false home. I see I you. I mean, might as well have. You wasn't there. Man, you gave what? birth to a drug addicted baby yes, with cocaine. Yes. Have you taken responsibility for the physical and emotional damage that's caused in his life? I'm here, Anna. You're here. I'm what do you here. want? What do you want to say? Because he doesn't consider you even his mother. He's got his auntie's name on his chest. Does that drive you a little nuts? No, it hurts sometimes, but like I said, I'd be in his life. 
I spent time with you. You okay. don't want to isolate Mom, okay. yourself. Okay, you, you are in you my life. Isolate you are in my life. When I went to the army, Mom. Yes, I did. When I went to the army, they wanted biological information on my biological parents. I could not give them any information on you. You don't know my you. biological name. That's it. Come on, you. Oh my goodness, Lord. You That's know you don't know my birthday, Kalaya. When is my birthday? I, I think know. you was at my birthday party. Remember, you got drunk. Have you ever, have you ever, I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny. Have you ever apologized to him for the life? I apologize to him all the time. Does she? You just spent the night with me the other weekend. My I, oh my God! I'm grown I'm grown now, now, man. You. Right, so get it off your chest. Get it off your chest. I am. I am. Okay, okay. and let you the past know be in the past. Let the past be in the past. How much let the past be in the past, Mom? Take some get some in the past. Get some counseling. And you wasn't in hell withdrawal to Because you of you! You oh. ain't hell withdrawal to you did. A lot more is coming up. Stay right there. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Thank you. Can I have a hug? Were your kids taken away from you because you were an unfit mother? Have things changed for the better and now you want your kids back? We want to help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Children abandoned. Do you think your mom chose a party life and men and stripping she was over young. you? She definitely well, chose those things basically over me because I the wanted to be a teenager, Amber, and I didn't know how to take care of you. You want a relationship, you need to give me a break. She only got one way. How does it feel to physically meet your brother for the very first time? Face the mothers who gave them up. Look where I put you at. You didn't you put me there. Child Protective Services put me there. My guest today has put a lifetime worth of anger and resentment out on the table. Now it's time to pick up the pieces and start healing. Please welcome Dr. Jeffrey Gardier to the show. Yeah. Jeff, how you doing? You know, these are one of the shows I feel so good about because we have a positive result for this family to your left. And, and I'm so thankful that the biological mother has accepted her difficulties, that the adoptive mother is wide open to this relationship. And this doesn't have to be so, but today it is. I feel good about this. Jeff, what do you say? I feel great about it, too. And, and I congratulate you and your incredible staff for allowing them to be able to get everything out on the table that needed to be said. It wouldn't have happened at home. It happened here on the Bill Cunningham Show. And so now it's about abiding by the things that you talked about. And I just want to say something to you, Sonia. Yes. Um, your family loves you dearly. And I'm glad that you were able to reconnect with your son. He has two moms. Yes. Let's admit there are two moms here, two great <laughs> yeah. moms. But the thing is, family, please understand that Sonia is making a difference. She is trying to change. And I want you to give her a little bit more props, more reinforcement on that, because she said some significant things and taken responsibility for a lot of things today. And Jeff, here's an important thing. And you see it with all the people you have in counseling. So many times the past is used as a weapon, a club. When you're losing an argument today, you can go in the past and pick up this old club and beat somebody over the head with it. Mm -hmm. How does this group forget about the crack cocaine, the stripping, the abandonment, the fact they had to hook up on Facebook and just saw each other here for the first time? How can they quit using the weapons of the past in order to maintain future relationships? Well, turn those weapons from the past into instructional materials for the future. You know, Patrick, you know what to stay away from because of what it did to your family. And Amber, again, I have to thank you and ask you and implore you, you are such a strong person and have helped your mom keep it together. But please, give her that reinforcement that we talked about 
Don't hit her over the head with all the things she did wrong. Keep propping her up and building her up because you did a great job. As no question. As long as she comes to grips with her situations, keeps on a positive route, making sure she's doing the things that she has to do to maintain her, that she... I, I have nothing but the best support for her, and I'm going to employ my sisters, my siblings, to do the same because we still have siblings that don't want anything to do with her. And that's because she has to admit, to agree, and then move forward. All right, uh, Jeff, we got Kavaya. He says born dirty. No child makes the decision, baby, to be born dirty. That is not a dirty man. That's a good and a proud man. But in his mind, he was dirty from the date of his birth. How can Kavaya get over this being born dirty and the dislike he has for his mother for that circumstance. Kavaya, I have to tell you that you weren't born dirty. You may have been born positive tox for a drug, but you were not dirty. You will never be dirty, and you can't see yourself as being tainted in that way because it will affect your future and the way that you view your mom. Maddie made some major, major mistakes. We know with drug abuse, right, that it makes you more, it makes you less of a mature person, and you keep making the same mistakes. And she's acting out here more more like a sister than a mother. So Maddie, I need for you to really step up 100%. Don't be afraid. Be his mother. Be able to talk to him. Be able to talk down to him. But most importantly, accept his love and teach him how to love himself. You will end up loving yourself even more because love is the answer. When we continue to the bottom line, for more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. Time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Do you think Amber and Angel should forgive their mom and move on? Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answered and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL. If you and your mom are at odds, here's the bottom line. The bond with your mother should be rock solid, a foundation in every kid's life. But both parents and their kids always frequently make mistakes. So instead of harboring anger and resentment, forgive each other and help one another to do better. And do everything in your power to keep that mother-child bond from breaking down. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. <laughs> Girls, how does it feel to physically meet your brother for the very first time?